Hello, Father James Kubicki here with some thoughts on today's gospel, which comes from chapter 5 of Luke. It's one of my favorite stories and should be a consolation for all of us who are praying for other people and feel like giving up. In the story, four men bring their paralyzed friend to Jesus for healing, but unable to get through the door and into the house which is filled with people, they climb the roof, take part of it off, and lower their friend down right in front of Jesus. The gospel then says, when Jesus saw their faith, he said, as for you, your sins are forgiven. Did you catch that? Jesus saw the faith of the four friends. The paralyzed man had little or no faith. And so after seeing his friend's faith, Jesus turned to him and said, as for you, your sins are forgiven. It may be that you are praying for people who are spiritually paralyzed with little or no faith, who have wandered away from the church, away from God. Your faith-filled prayer brings them to Jesus. He sees your faith and he will act on it and give his mercy to the one for whom you are praying. So don't give up. Commenting on this passage, Pope Francis said, and let us always go ahead seeking the Lord, seeking new paths, new ways to draw close to the Lord. And were it necessary to open a hole in the roof to let everyone approach the Lord, may our charitable and creative imagination lead us to this, to find and create paths of encounter, paths of brotherhood, paths of peace. For our part, we wish to glorify God, substituting fear with wonder. Even today, we can still see wondrous things, the wonder of the incarnation of the Word, and therefore of the absolute closeness of God to humanity, which places us within the mystery of Advent.